Welcome to the Adult Fans of Nerf Show. I'm Mr. K. We don't have any news for you this episode, so let's get straight to the reviews. Alright, for this review we're going to go a little bit out of the norm of what we normally do. Uh, we are the Adult Fans of Nerf, but occasionally we like to test our hands with other products by other companies, such as the Zingbos and X-Shot and, you know, various companies that, that don't produce uh, an extremely widely known product. Because besides just liking Nerf and really liking everything that they've done, we also like toys. And there are other brands of toy blasters out there, so why not throw everything into a pot and see what comes out? Exactly. So, for this review, we're going to be talking about the Range Master and the Tech 8 by Busby. Alright, so here is the Range Master. Um, first impressions of it myself are um, it's just oddly proportioned. The barrel's really bulbous. It's, it, it's just weird looking. It looks like a cross between a hunting rifle and an alien ray zapper thing. It has a scope on it. Scope is removable. It does have kind of a tactical rally thing, which isn't bad. It's not too much like uh, the Nerf tactical rail. It might fit some tactical rail accessories, but it's not. It doesn't hold on the exact same way, nope. and it's a little bit angled. Yep, and that that's that's okay. It still looks cool, and you know, Busby is trying to, as best as they can to to really compete with Nerf, and. Nerf has tactical rails and stuff, so Busby started doing that a little bit too, and that's cool because it breeds innovation. It also has a bipod, which is not a bad looking bipod, it's not a bad functioning bipod. Uh, it's very reminiscent of the long shot. Yep, absolutely, but unlike the long shot, this one's removable, and it has a very similar mechanism to the tripod from the Vulcan. From the Vulcan, yep, that's exactly right. Now here's where it gets a little dicey. So, bold action. Right? So you pull the bolt back. Yeah, I thought I had some darts on me. Nope, I took them. You took them? I took them. All right, so we got a dart here. Now, you put the dart in the chamber, and see if I can show you this a little bit, but the inside of the chamber here is hollow, and when you slide the dart in there, like that, push it forward. Oh, it, it, it doesn't shoot. Okay. So, I don't like this with the dart kind of sunk in there, so I don't load it like that. I prime it first. So this is actually an air bladder blaster. They don't really advertise that much. You have to, unless you read the instructions, you won't know. I don't really care for reading the instructions myself, so it actually took me a while to figure this out. Well, not a while, but it took me more time than it probably should have. And I didn't know until he told me. So now you can lock the bolt. And now it's got a full bladder of air, and it will fire. When it does fire, it's like all air bladder blasters. You do get a fair amount of power, a fair amount of range. Yep. And uh, another thing about this blaster, let me grab a different dart here, is the darts. The darts now are a little bit different from the standard Busby dart. This is a standard Busby dart. It has a nice soft foam, just like Nerf. But the Range Master's darts are a much denser foam. It's very hard to actually squeeze it. Um, it's almost like uh, a craft foam density. Almost. It, it has a visibly noticeable difference in its, in its makeup. It's a lot less porous. It's um, more flat. It's not as uh, pockmarky. The either. air inside of it seems to be a lot, the, the little bubbles seem to be a lot smaller. What does that mean? It probably means that, that because of the denser darts this thing is going to get more power, more range based on its projectile design. Yep. We're not saying that it can't fire regular uh, Busby standard darts. It actually does, um, but they fire quite a bit harder than the other darts. And they probably do more wear. On they kind of wobble darts. a little bit yeah. more when they fire. I, th I think these are probably a little bit more balanced yep. than the other darts. So. But function-wise, it's, it's nice. Um, could be a little better if it was more what you would expect. But uh, all in all, not too bad, except for the lot of accepts yeah. with this. It, it really, and another thing it could probably use is some uh, attachment points for a bandolier. Because I think 
if you're going to use this blaster, it might be nice to have a bandolier with it. And you can actually, you know, take off the barrel, take off the scope, and, and just fire it like this. So it's kind of a weird... More like a ray gun. Yeah. This is kind of a left-handed blaster, though, if you think it about is. it. It is. It is. That's one thing that I, that I do like about it also. It is more left-handed friendly, and I am left-handed, so it's easier for me. It's good function, not Absolutely. so good form. And, and they're definitely um, innovating in the way that their guns prime. And, you know, it, it still suffers, in my mind, from the one of the worst flaws about Busby's uh, lines is that the plastic just seems really cheap. It does. It's, it's just light. Um, it feels almost like if you grip it too tight, you're going to rip through the handle tight, thin. Um, but the, the, the mechanisms are still solid. The, the blasters do still function well. Uh, we just wish that there was a way they could pick up the... If they, if they could be a little bit more robust and uh, maybe have a more complex design. Um, they are a little simple and uh, simple shape. Speaking but of simple, here's another offering from Busby. This is from the Air Warriors line. This is the Air Tech 8. Um, this is a, I don't mind this blaster for little kids. Uh, I have a six-year-old myself, and I always think about that kind of stuff when I'm looking at the Zines Vera Blasters. Is how easy would this be for my son to use? And this one is pretty, uh, it doesn't really get as easy as it gets. Not since really the ball zooka or the ball blaster have we seen it. Just as simple as that. Um, it kind of gets a little bit more power depending on how fast you uh, pull it forward, push it forward. But um, it's, it's an eight firing rotating carousel. So it doesn't actually rotate. That's right, Busby ones don't, do they? Um, some Busby ones do, this one in uh, this instance doesn't, and it actually shows a little bit of uh, innovation on their part in, ahead of Nerf, because now Nerf has the rough cut, which does pretty much the same thing, switching barrels. Right. This one does it first. The difference being between the rough cut and this is that the rough cut uh, knows which chambers are full, this just goes around in a circle. But right. we digress, we're talking about this. Um, this really does just looks like it's made for kids. For an adult, uh, it's not really something that I would get for myself, but for my little nieces and nephews and kid, and for my my son, why not? Yeah, why not? It's a it's a decent blaster for what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's all we have for reviews for today. Check out our ne next episode which will be uh, more Busby Blasters. Because we don't hate on other brands. Not often. <laughs> Keep nerfing.